It was a birth announcement that shocked the world. Two beautiful little Chinese girls named Lulu and Lala came crying into the world as healthy as any other babies a few weeks ago. Chinese biophysicist He Zhangqi, working largely in secret, had used CRISPR to knock out a gene called CCR5 in two early human embryos, then returned the embryos to their mother's womb. CCR5 plays a key role in HIV infection, and the girl's father was HIV positive. He said his motive was noble. As a father of two girls, I can't think of a gift more beautiful and wholesome for the society than giving another couple a chance to start a loving family. But the scientific community did not cheer. At the International Summit on Human Genome Editing that He attended shortly after the announcement, the reaction was shock and condemnation. I understand my work will be controversial, but I believe family need this technology, and I am willing to take the criticism for them. So joining us now for this part of the discussion is a bioethicist, physician, and research scholar from Stanford University, who also happens to be a friend of He Jiang Kui from his time at Stanford. Please welcome William Hurlbut. So Bill, let's start with you. So uh, He Jiang Kui goes by JK, so we'll just refer to him as that because it's a lot easier for me. Uh, and he left Stanford, went to China, where he's carrying on this work. Uh, you guys were friends there while you were there, and you've been in communication with him. So how much either directly or indirectly did the scientific community know about what he was actually doing? Well, I actually first met JK at, the, at a meeting that Jennifer and I organized in January 2017. Subsequently, he emailed me two months later and said, I'm coming through Stanford, could I talk with you? So I, I had nothing on my calendar that afternoon, fortunately, so we met for lunch and talked much of the afternoon and then subsequently came back several more times and we talked in great depth. But I, I did not understand that he was pushing quite so fast. Now, he's, it, it, I think to back up a little bit, he was under a lot of pressure in the environment he's in. He, he, he works in Shenzhen and there's this concept called Shenzhen speed. Everything's happening fast. There's lots of push for scientific discoveries and young scientists in China under pressure, as they are elsewhere. But I, I realized very quickly that he did not have much of a background of thought on ethical issues. So I was trying to get to know him a little better, seed in ideas and concerns. But in, in the end, he went faster than I realized, and I did not know that he had implanted embryos, although the last time I met him, I strongly suspected it. 